Okay, we are about to get the final matches drawn. Once again, if you're just tuning in, our final eight, Mike Soleil, Elvis Rodriguez, Kang Lee, Mark Alicia, Russian Kenny, Matt Crawl, Bucky Subanthong, and Robert Kroll. It's just a strong final eight. These are all going to be races to 11, single elimination. This quarterfinal round is presented by Jersey Shore APA Leagues. Uh, it's jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. You can visit them at that site. We have a, a sponsor for each round of the tournament today. The Jersey Shore APA League is home to over 500 members. You can visit jerseyshore.apaleagues.com that you see on your screen, or you can call Dawn Hopkins at 609-226-0646. Thank you to all of our sponsors, and thanks to Dawn and the Jersey Shore APA League for their sponsorship, helping to bring you this stream today. Watching Kang Lee practice as we get ready for the bracket to come out. And we will have a link to the live bracket in the comments. And once, uh, once the stream table match ends, if any other matches are still ongoing, I'll walk around and get you the scores of those, keep you updated. I need to get my steps in. While we wait for matches to come out, let me, uh, let me run through and thank some of our other advertisers today. Our host location, Players at Billiards Cafe, the family-owned establishment here in Monmouth County, voted the number one pool hall in Monmouth County by the readers of the Asbury Park Press. Featuring 20 world-class Brunswick pool tables, including six limited-edition Brunswick Black Crown tables. Plan your next party at Players Billiards, 613 Hope Road in Eatontown, New Jersey. Pool cue kickback giveaways. You can visit this Facebook group to get great cues, accessories, and cases. That Tascarelli you see right now is up for Razzle. And that is Pool cue kickback giveaways Facebook group. All right, matches are out. It's going to be Mike and Bucky. So let's get this set up for you. Once again, race to 11, single elimination. We are set up Mike Soleil and Bucky Subanthong. They're gonna lag for the break shortly here and there is the bracket live posted in the comments. Once again, we will try to keep you updated on the current state of each of them. Not sure if they have the ability through the software to do so live. Sure, we'll keep you updated as we go along. 
step away and get a drink before we get underway. Just waiting for Mike Soleil to get to the table. And we are going to keep you updated on scores in each round as we go through the day. There's four matches in this first round. Obviously, it's going to be two and then one, so it's going to get easier. But just in case anyone hasn't loaded the bracket, on this table, table one, we're going to have Mike Soleil and Bucky Subanthong. It's uh, table two. The second table is Kang Lee and Russian Kenny. Third table is Rob Kroll and Elvis Rodriguez. And the fourth match is Mark Alicia and Matt Kral. It's actually Su Van Tong. There's no TH sound there. I'd like to make sure I get the pronunciations correct. So it's Bucky Su Van Tong. And they've just flipped, and Bucky's going to get the first break. We are underway in this race to 11 between Mike Soleil and Bucky Su Van Tong. This should be a really good matchup. Bucky, Bucky started off a little slow yesterday and then just gained speed as the day went on. Shot really well. If you ever watch Bucky or Mike shoot, you know they're both strong shooters.
I'm honestly not sure who I would call weak in this final eight. This is a strong final eight. <laughs> there might be a couple of players that you look at as favorites, but everyone definitely has a chance to win this. And thanks to everybody for tuning into the stream. We are underway with the break. Oh, Bucky almost got the three to fall. Rattled in that pocket and stayed up. And Mike plays a push. Bucky looks to get safe. And that seven's in the way. Nice hit by Mike Soleil. Looks like Bucky's got a shot here. He could probably make that three ball. And he calls the three. Nice shot and gets out the other side of the eight to have a shot at the one. The two is up upper left corner of your screen behind the seven. Looks like Bucky's addressing this high left. Not the one, but didn't get him where he needed to be on the two. Calls it. Puggy's called that in the bottom left corner of your screen. It doesn't go, but that may work out for him. From this other angle, it looks like that nine's in the way. Oh, very close. A nice play to get right on the four. You can follow this and come across for the five. Uh, 
right there. That's a nice shot to get good position on the six. Good shot on the six. Draws back on the seven. Gives himself an angle. Get back up table on the eight. Little draw on that and slides around two two rails to be perfect on the nine, just enough angle. Slides down to have that ten in the side. This is for the one zero lead for Bucky. And Bucky Devantong takes a 1-0 lead in this race to 11. Mike Soleil will break this rack. You're watching the corner final, quarterfinals presented by Jersey Shore APA Leagues at jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. You can also get started by contacting Dawn Hopkins at 609-226-0646. Mike Soleil with a really nice break. Falls. Makes the one, runs into the five, but I'm not sure if he's got a great look at that two. That eight, definitely in the way. He can hit it. I'm not sure if he can put it in that corner pocket. All right, so Bucky leading one to nothing. Got that two in the upper left corner. And he goes for a safe behind the 10. So there may be a lane between that 10 and three for Mike. I don't think we're going to get any more info from this camera angle. I, you know, I don't know that there is, but we're going to see how Mike addresses this ball. And it looks like there might be just enough room. That's a great shot. Four ball is sitting in the corner pocket, bottom left of your screen. Oof. Avoided the eight and the nine, but then off the jaw of the pocket. Definitely see that past the seven. I think he wanted to come around the other side of that five. It'll work.
Just a little stop. Makes the five and leaves himself set up nicely for the seven. Outstanding shot. And just stops that one. We have the nine in the side. A little straight on this. Beats the pocket enough. Come off the rail and have the ten in that upper right corner. And looks like Mike has a chance here to tie this at one. Mike's away. Completes the shot and ties this race to 11 at 1. Here's Bucky with the break. Two ball falls in the corner. And Bucky's got the one top left of your screen. Makes that and holds for the three. Oh, that five six was going to be a problem, and Bucky kicked it out of there. Makes the five and kicks the six out. That's a great shot. Another strong side on the six. Oh, it just undercuts that one. I'm sorry, overcuts that one. Perfect position on the nine, too. Bucky was shooting right through that rack. Look at the execution here. Wow. I 
great hit. Fuck you ever cut that again. This time safe behind the nine. Mike's called that in the side pocket. Doesn't go, but good contact. And fuck he's gonna have the out here. The current standing of other matches as Bucky shoots this eight. Russian Kenny leads Kang Lee 1 0. Rob Kroll and Elvis Rodriguez tied at one. Matt Craw is up 2-0 on Mark Alicia. Bucky looking to up 2-0 in this race to 11. And Bucky Subenthong, Subenthong takes a 2-1 lead over Mike Soleil. Paul's Pro Shop, located inside the lanes at Seagirt, New Jersey, is committed to their customers, selling brand-name bowling equipment such as Hammer, Brunswick, Columbia, and more. Visit their store inside the lanes at Seagirt or go to paulsproshop.com. Thanks to Pauls for their sponsorship. Mike Soleil with a break makes the eight in the side pocket. Mike looking for the safe here. Doesn't quite get behind that five.
position on this six for Bucky. He just follows that. He's got a good angle on the seven already. Nice shot. Great position on the 10. This is to take a 3-1 lead in this race to 11. Takes a 3-1 lead for Mike Soleil. The semifinals, I'm sorry, quarterfinals match is being presented by JerseyShoreAPAleagues.com. Visit them at jerseyshoreapaleagues.com or give Don Hopkins a call at 609-226-0646 to get started in an APA league today. Jersey Shore APA League is home to over 500 members. Bucky leading three to one has the break this rack. And the eight ball falls in that top left corner on the break. Great shot in the side pocket. Big bounce, and he can have that two in the corner. Wonderful shot in the side. And look at the position on the four. That's a great shot by Bucky. Incredible shot to get position on the six. Great draw. Perfect. <laughs> Another great shot to get on the seven. Makes a nine perfect on the ten. And Bucky really in stroke here. It takes a four one lead over Mike.
Once again, this quarterfinals matchup is being presented by Jersey Shore APA Leagues. Visit them at jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. Voted the number one, I'm sorry, over 500 members, jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. And Mike Slay makes the three and five on the break. That's a nice save. A lot of traffic between those two. Oh, just goes past it for Bucky. Mike might be thinking about another save here. Again, the three foul roll in effect. This time I think Bucky can see a piece of this one. Good shot. And Mike comes off the rail but can't get the one to fall. Two balls a problem for both players. Doesn't go in the upper right, obviously, with the nine and four in the way. Getting it inside the six nine to be behind it is going to be difficult. Hmm. That one just hangs in the pocket for Mike. He had position on the two there. Bucky calls the four. Looked like he was thinking about the save there for a moment. Bucky trying to get the safe there. Mike's got a line on that two ball. Avoids a scratch. This time Bucky's going to have to kick at the two. And good hit. And catches a rail, so... Legal. Mike Soleil goes for a safe. Angle's a little deceptive. I'm not sure if Bucky can see a piece of that or if he's going to have to kick. Another safe again. 
This time it looks like the 10 is really in the way. I think Mike's going to have to kick at this ball. A good hit. Oh, and the roll gets behind the 10. He's grabbed his jump cue for this shot. Good hit, but that's going to come around the 10 where Mike Soleil can see it. Mike Soleil misses that shot. Didn't have a good look at the four either. Have a nice look at the four from here. A really nice shot by Bucky. He's got back on that 10. Looking to take a 5-1 lead in this race to 11. And Bucky Sivantong takes a 5-1 lead. And he'll have to break this rack. You're watching the quarterfinals presented by APA... Or le uh, APA Leagues of the Jersey Shore. That's jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. He makes the four on the break. The nine down bottom left corner. Nice safe. 
updates on the other brackets. Kang rushing Kenny three to two. Rob Kroll and Elvis Rodriguez tied at Mark Alicia four to one to eleven. Earlier it was the seven that was made, not the nine. Great job by Mike. Mike Slate closes this to a 5-2 gap in this race to 11. You're watching the second annual 10 ball open presented jerseyshoreapaleagues.com. That's the quarterfinals presented by jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. Mike Slay with the break. Dubal almost went. Bucky makes the one to get underway. Oof. Five balls in the way. Thought about a masse. Now he's grabbed his jump cue. Really nice shot, but yep. Thought he might drift behind the eight, but he stayed out. Got a good look at the three. He's only got to get to about that side pocket, bottom of your screen, just just to the right of it to have a shot at the four. Oh, I tried to draw that one back. That didn't go. And Mike Slay is going to take a short break.
So once again, I'll update you on the scores of the other matches. You know what? Let me take a walk and get uh, any updates that might have happened in the last few moments. Nice shot by Mike to draw back where you can see the five. So update on the other matches. Russian Kenny trails Kang Lee four to three. They've been holding serve, each winning their own break. Rob Krull just took a three two lead over Elvis Rodriguez. And Matt Craw leads Mark Alicia four to two. Tough miss for Mike. Hmm. Nice shot. That nudge on the eight makes sure it goes underneath the nine. Good speed there. Play this softly and have the ten upper right corner. Lisa Van Tong takes a six to two lead. We're watching the 10 ball open quarterfinals presented by jerseyshore.apaleagues.com.
unfortunate sending the cue ball off the table for Kang. This is an open break for Mike to work with. I have no trouble getting out on this table. And as I say that, that shot. Bucky can just follow this five. Leave himself enough angle on the six to get behind the eight. The position of the nine and ten, he should be out. He overcut that ball. Late on the other matches, Kang Lee leads Russian Kenny 5-3. to three. Someone finally broke serve there. Rob Krull and Elvis Rodriguez deadlocked at 3. And Matt Craw has taken a 5-2 lead over Mark Alicia. Not sure if Mike came out around that tent quite far enough. Go off the rail and doesn't make the shot. And this is going to be one for Buck. I think he can see more of it than we think. Going to have to come off the rail either way. But. That's the Massé. Wow, that just stays up. Mm. Bucky with a chance to take advantage of that mistake by Mike and can't make that 10. Mike Soleil closes the gap to 6-3 in this race to 11. You're watching the second annual 10-ball open quarterfinals presented by jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. Visit them at jerseyshore.apaleagues.com or call Don Hopkins at 609-226-0646. There's always opportunities to join a team, start a new team. If you're looking to get into pool league, visit jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. Of 
four falls on the break for Mike. Calls the one ball cross side top of your screen. That's a great shot. Roll just a little too far to have a look at the two. That's a good hit. He avoids a scratch, but Mike's going to have a look at the two ball. Good hit by Mike. Bucky's going to play a safe here. Really nice shot. Wow. Wow. Mike with a lot of left hand to English gets a good hit on that three, but leaves Bucky a shot. Tim Bucky taking a look at the six seven. They're tied up pretty tight. I'm pretty sure the six goes in the upper left corner of your screen. Definitely looks like that's what he's shooting at. Overcut that a little bit. Fortunate roll for him, though. Leaving that six where he did. Mike tried to get the cue back behind the seven. I think Bucky can see that six to cut it in. He's going to call the bank top left of your screen. That's a great call and a great shot. Wow.
Great shot. Great position. That's a great play to give position on the nine as well. Another outstanding shot. And Bucky Sventhong. Sventhong takes a 7-3 lead. <laughs> Bucky's really shooting well today. You're watching the quarterfinals of the second annual 10 ball open presented by jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. You can visit them at jerseyshore.apaleagues.com to get started in a league today or call Dawn Hopkins at 609 226 0646. Jersey Shore APA is home to over 500 members. Have fun, meet people, and play pool. That's jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. I think Buggy was trying to get the cue behind the nine there. It gets the two ball in the way. Nearly makes that jump shot. That's going to go wrong pocket, so that stays down. And Mike is going to have the option to shoot. Pass. Outstanding shot. It's the cue ball behind the five. Bucky's going to try and jump this five ball. Great attempt, just... Just a minute. Mike's called the bank. And another safe behind the five ball. Got an update on the other matches. Kang Lee read, leads Russian Kenny 6-4. to four. Elvis Rodriguez leads Rob Kroll 5-3. And Matt Kroll has an 8-2 lead over Mark Alicia. 
He jumps that five, but can't make contact with the four. Mike Sole is shooting very well right now. Trying to close this gap to 7 4. And Mike Sole makes it a 7 4 score in this race, too. I'm watching the quarterfinals of the second annual 10 ball open presented by Jersey Shore APA League. That's jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. I'm going to run through the scores again for you of the other matches. Hang Lee has a 6 to 4 lead over Russian Kenny. Elvis Rodriguez leads Rob Kroll 5 to 3. And Matt Kroll leads Mark Alicia 8 to 2. Ball heading for the pocket just runs out of gas. Shot by Bucky, makes the one, leaves himself a look at the two. It looks like he's going to try and draw out of this. Didn't want to run into that sixth. At least didn't want to hit it that full, but still got a shot at the three in that side pocket. Ran into both the seven or the seven and the ten on his way back down table for the four. Calls the four in the corner and makes it. That's. It's a great shot by Bucky. Standing shot. Perfect play to be on the nine. 
She's just going to draw this one back. Great position on the 10. And Bucky Savantong takes an 8 4 lead over. You're watching the quarterfinals presented by JerseyShore.APAleagues.com. That's Jersey Shore APA Leagues. Get started in the league today. Visit them at JerseyShore.APAleagues.com or call Dylan Hopkins at 609-226-0646. Uh, Let's see if we can get a replay of that four ball shot by Bucky up on the screen here in just a moment. Two ball leaves the table again. Here's a replay of that four ball called in the corner. Calls the four in the corner and makes it. That's Like just hangs that three. Just off the jaw of the pocket, rattles and pops out. So oh, Mike Soleil has conceded this match to Bucky Suvantong. We're just going to stick around here a minute. I'm going to get you an update on the other matches.
Okay, so I'm going to take a quick walk, get you an update on the scores of the other matches. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to take an opportunity to thank our advertisers for this tournament. The quarterfinals were presented by Jersey Shore APA Leagues.com. Thank you for your sponsorship. Bruce Hutchins is a Mark of Excellence Award winner at FC Kerbeck in Palmyra, New Jersey. That's FC Kerbeck Buick GMC. I spoke with Barnes the other day. He told me they have over 450 vehicles in stock. Visit Barnes at FC Kerbeck Buick GMC in Palmyra, New Jersey and get the vehicle of your dreams. From Players Billiards Cafe located in Eatontown, New Jersey. It's a family-owned establishment, been voted number one pool hall in the Monmouth County area by readers of the Asbury Park Press, featuring 20 world-class Brunswick pool tables, including six limited-edition Brunswick Black, Black Crown tables. Plan your next party at Billiard, uh, Players Billiards, 16, 613 Hope Road, Eatontown. Pool cue kickback giveaways. Visit the Pool Cue Kickback Giveaways Facebook group for a chance to win amazing cues, cases, and other accessories. With prompt shipping and careful packaging, Pool Cue Kickback Giveaways is the place to go to get the cue of your dreams. A reminder, I'm going to walk around and get you updates here in just a moment. Paul's Pro Shop, located inside the lanes at Seagirt. They're committed to their customers selling brand name bowling equipment such as Hammer, Brunswick, Columbia, and more. Visit their store or go to paulsproshop.com. In the box, your favorite apparel company for your custom-made sports jersey. If you're looking for jerseys for your team, in the box is the place to go. Just yesterday, they were designing t uh, jerseys right here at the tournament. Visit inthebox.com, use promotional code NJOPEN, and get 20% off your favorite shirt. JB Cases. Build your custom case at jbcases.com. You can pick the size, the color, the type of straps, the number of pockets. You can even get custom embroidery. Do it all at jbcases.com. Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. Hoffman's small batch shaving and bar soap made in the USA without unnecessary additives or chemicals and with natural fragrances. For clean skin and an even cleaner shave, do it the way Grandpa used to in the old days. Visit HoffmanShavingCompany.com for more information or to place an order. John Cuccio, authorized Kamui installer, also installs other tips, does ferrule repair, removes dings. If you're in the north or central Jersey area, Give John Cuccio a call at 732-606-6642 for all your queue maintenance. And the Garden State Pool Tour is an independent pool tour that runs throughout New Jersey. They're going to be expanding into New York, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut in 2023. Featuring open, ladies, and amateur events in 8-ball, 9-ball, and 10-ball. Look up Garden State Pool Tour on Facebook for more information. The 2022 NBL 10-ball qualifier is going to be August 28th at 11 a.m. at Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. For more information, visit them at nblusa.com. And Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Looking to get started into a pool league? Visit jerseyshoreshotstap.com and get started today. Now operating in Cumberland, Salem, and Gloucester counties, in addition to Atlantic County, and the newly opened Cape May County League. I'm going to walk around and get you an update on the other matches. We'll be right back, and then we're going to take a short break. So, stand by. Updated scores.
Okay, I've got updated scores. Yang Li leads Rush and Kenny 6-5. Kenny's closed that gap from a 6-4 score. Elvis Rodriguez leads Rob Kroll 5-4. That was a 5-3 score, so Rob coming back in that one. And Matt Kroll has eliminated Mark Alicia 11-2. So Matt Kroll and Rookie Savantong have both advanced to the semifinals. I'm not going to shut the stream down. We're going to leave it right here. We're going to put a standby screen, screen, up, screen up. If you want to stick around, I'll uh, update you periodically with the scores of the other matches, and we expect the semifinals to start around 1 p.m., but we are not going to close the stream. Leave a standby. You can leave comments. I'll answer. We can engage in the comments section in the meantime. We'll take a short break, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in on this Sunday.
Okay, and we are back. Welcome to the semifinals provided are presented by Jersey Sure Shots Tap dot com. Get started in pool league today. Visit Jersey Sure Shots Tap dot com. Our semifinal matchup is Matt Craw versus Rob Krull. Once again, a race to eleven. And on the other side, it's Bucky Fantong versus Kang Lee. I am going to uh, keep you updated on that score as well. Going to be on table. F See if I can set something up for you where I can keep that on screen and keep that updated. Watching Matt Crawl warm up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so what I've done is put the score of the other semifinal match that's going on right now in the bottom right corner.
Here's the lag for break between Matt Crawl top of your screen and Rob Crawl at the bottom. Matt wins the lag. This race to 11 is underway. Could be a fantastic matchup. Have a great final as well. Once again, you're watching the semifinals, the second annual 10 ball open, presented by Jersey Sure Shots Tap. It's starting a league today at jerseysureshotstap.com. Matt Craw is going to get this semifinal match. And Matt made the seven on the break. Fires that one in. Matt narrowly avoided the scratch. He's inside the jaw, but I think he can still make it. Calls the three in the side. Outstanding shot. Don't believe that ball has no. It doesn't look like it has an avenue to the corner past the nine. He's going to have to play this in the side. Or he could play a safe. He calls it in the side. Oh, just, just off and got back. Perfect position on the five. makes the four and leaves himself a nice angle on the five Be able to get down on the six the 
a well executed shot. A little slide draw. Natural position for the eight. And Rob Kroll looking to take a 1-0 lead in this race to 11. Nice out by Rob Kroll. He takes a 1-0 lead. You're watching the semifinals of the second annual 10-ball open presented by TAP Pool League. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com to get started today. Now operating in Cumberland, Salem, Gloucester counties, in addition to their Atlanta County and the newly opened Cape May County League. That's www.jerseyshoreshotstap.com. Scratches on that break. I'm going to see if I can get you an update on the other match. Had an update on the other match. Bucky Vantong has taken a 1-0 lead over Kang Lee.
good position on the six. Needs to get on the seven and could be out of this rack. Matt Craw evens this race at 1-1. One, one. See if I can get an update on the score of the other match right now. Currently, what we know is that Bucky Savantong is up 1-0 over Ang Lee. And I've got an update that other semi-final match is now tied at one as well. Matt Craw breaks dry, so Rob Crawl. The shot at the one. Two ball at the top of your screen, one diamond to the left of the side pocket. Not sure if Rob cleared that three ball. Also the two in the corner.
Worst things could happen there. Not look like that goes underneath the nine. Gonna play the nine, carry him off the two. Really nice shot. Really nice shot on that too by Rob. Great jump shot. We've got an update on the other semifinal match for you. Bucky Suventong taking a 2-1 lead over Kang Lee. Great shot. Just undercuts that. Not a terrible leave for Rob. Matt calls safe. And looks like he got there. Rob makes a good hit, but I think Mac can see this five. I we went for the safe. Didn't get there.
A great shot by Rob. And Rob Kroll takes a two to one lead in this race to 11. You're watching the second annual 10 ball open semifinals presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Get started in the league today. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com. Now operating in Cumberland, Salem, and Gloucester counties, in addition to Atlanta County and the newly opened Cape May County League. That's Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Dot com. Rob made the nine on the break and then made the one. I'm going to go get you an update on the other semifinal match. Ang Lee has tied the other semifinal match at two. Nice shot by Rob.
And Rob Kroll takes a 3-1 lead over Matt Kroll in the race to 11. You're watching the semifinals of the second annual 10-ball open. Semifinals are presented by JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. Get started in the pool league today. Visit JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. Matt Crawl down one to three in this race to eleven, but he has the break here. That makes the three and the nine on the break. Mac all safe. Bob was trying to get safe as well. Did not quite get there. And Matt calls the one in the side pocket, bottom of your screen. That's a nice shot. Right on the two. Four ball, bottom, center of your screen, right next to the five. Matt taking a look at the line he needs on that. Gonna hit this a little low and just come off of that side rail. I think we'll see him draw this one and slide over to the left a little for the five. That's perfect. Center ball on that five drifts down for the six.
Put a little follow on this and come around two rails. Great shot. Follow on that one comes off the rail to have the eight. That bottom right corner. Center ball. Great shot, natural position on the 10. Matt Crawl with a really nice run to tighten this to a 3-2 race. Or a 3-2 score, I'm sorry, in this race to 11. You're watching the second annual 10-ball open. Semifinals presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Get started in a pool league today. Visit JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. Now operating in Cumberland, Salem, and Gloucester counties, in addition to Atlanta County and the newly opened Cape May County League. That's JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. <clears throat> I'm going to grab an update on the other semifinal match after this break. Nothing falls for Rob Kroll. Another semifinal match, Van Tong, Ang Lee, four to two. Really nice shot by Matt. Rolled a little further than he intended there, but he should have no trouble getting on this five ball. It's great cue control right there. And that's going to draw this back to that top 
left side of the table on your screen. Good shot. the role he needs out of that. Now Matt calls safe. Didn't get where he wanted to on that eight and that was a tough break. He just needed that to roll another foot or so. Oh, that was a hell of an attempt by Rob Kroll. Tough lead for Matt. Tried to tuck in behind that 10, but didn't get there. This shot for Rob to take a 4 2 lead. Rob Kroll takes a 4 2 lead over Matt Craw. You're watching the second annual 10 ball open semifinals presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Let's start in the league today. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com. Um, Roger, we're trying to work on the sound here. The problem is I don't want to pick up the music in the background. Uh, Facebook will give us a copyright strike. So I'm using what's called a noise gate that only turns the mic on when a certain level of sound is reached. And I'm trying to speak quietly.
Matt made the six on the break and then the one. Two may go past the eight, but it's very close. All right, more room there than it looked like from my vantage point. I missed by Matt. I'm trying to get a sense of if that 10 ball's in the way, and it looks like it's just clear. And there was just enough room there. Oh, that Rob went a little too far on that, that roll. He's behind the eight. Makes the jump and hits the five, but doesn't go off the jaw of the pocket. Not a great leave for Matt. He's caught in the bank, upper side pocket on your screen. Wow, great shot. Got a kiss off the seven ball. Sent it a little further towards the pocket. In hit. That's really well played. Doesn't look like he's got a lot of angle on this eight. I'm gonna try and draw back. Slide off that bottom rail. Oh, straight draw. It was straighter than I thought. Wow. I thought he had a little angle there. He's going to call the bank on this nine. It's a great shot. That is a great shot. Matt Craw closes the score to 4-3 in this race to 11. You're watching the semifinals. Second annual 10-ball open. The semifinals are presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com to get started in a league today. Join an existing team or start your own. Operating in Cumberland, Salem, Gloucester counties, as well as Cape May County and the newly opened, or I'm sorry, the newly opened Cape May County. Visit JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. And after this break by Rob Crawl, I'm going to see if I can get you an update on the other semifinal match.
Nothing falls for Rob. Kang Lee has closed the gap in the other semifinal match. Rookie Savantong now leads 4 3. Okay, another update. That other match just went to 5 3 in favor of Bucky Suventong. That calls the 8. That's well played. Made himself good position on the four. Great position on the five. Let's just draw this one back a little bit, have the six. Imagine we'll see him stop this one, leave himself an angle on the seven. And plays with a little follow to get up on the seven. Be able to come back up table for the nine. Man trying to even this score at four. That's a nice shot. Stops perfect position on the 10 ball. And Macrawl evens this score at 4. Race to 11. Thanks to all of our viewers. Today, we've had uh, between 20 and 30 consistently all day. And just want to remind you, the semifinals of this second annual 10 ball open are being presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap Pool League. That's jerseyshoreshotstap.com. Visit the website to start a new team, join an existing team. Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Matt Crawl tied 4 4 and has the break. Nothing falls on the break for Matt. I'm going to take a short break and use the restroom. Be right back.
get caught up just the five, seven, eight, nine, and ten left. Someone has won a rack over at the other match. I'll give you an update as soon as I get it. Over in the other match, Bucky Sivanton has taken a 6-3 lead. Matt Kral trying to come back from the deficit he was at to take a 5-4 lead. Matt Crawl takes a 5-4 lead in this race to 11. The semifinals round of the second annual 10 ball open is presented by Tap Pool League. Jersey Shore Shots Tap.com. Operating in Cumberland, Salem, Gloucester, and Atlantic counties, as well as the newly opened Cape May County League. Jersey Shore Shots Tap.com. And pocket just rejects the ball off the jaw.
Nice shot to leave himself in that window for the four. shot it's back behind and around the seven and looks like he left himself pretty straight on that ball Nice draw to get back on the eight. play the nine on the side. Draw back a little. Slides over behind the ten. And Rob Kroll evens this race to 11 at five games apiece. This is the semifinals of the second annual 10 ball open sponsored by Jersey Shore Shots Tap Pool League. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com. Crop breaks dry, so Rob Crow comes to the table shooting the one. Rob plays a safe. Oof. Just gets there. Matt calls the nine in the side. Fails to make contact with the one. Let's see if there's an update on the other semi.
All right, update on the other semifinal. Bucky Savantong has taken a 7-3 to three lead. That's a great shot. Rob Kroll needs the shot to take a 6-5 lead. Rob Kroll takes a 6-5 lead in this race to 11. Semifinals of this second annual 10-ball open are being presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap Pool League. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com to join a team or start your own. Jersey Shore Shots Tap operates in Cumberland, Salem, Gloucester, and Atlantic counties, as well as the newly opened Cape May County League. That's Jersey Shore Shots Tap. Nothing falls for Rob Kroll on the break, so Matt Craw is the safe on the one ball. Ooh. Almost got behind the six. That would have been a great shot. Mm. 
Rob trying to get behind the three with the Q and behind the nine, the one. Ran into the three, and Matt Crawl has a look at that shot. Matt calls the seven. He changes his call. He's going to play the two ball. Good position on the six. Oh. Pocket just rejects that ball. Pockets the six, draws back and gets a nice carom off the eight and pushes it to the rail. He does not have a lot of angle on this shot. That was perfect. Just drifted out just behind the nine. Six. 
stops that nine ball shot. Ten in the side, top of your screen. And Matt Crowley evens the score at six in this race to 11. These two players are going rack for rack. This exciting semifinal action is presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap Pool League. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com and get started in a league today. We're all tied at six, basically a race to five at this point. Matt Crawl with the break. And see if we can get you an update on the score of the other semifinal match right after this break. Okay, while Rob Kroll takes a short break, I'll update you on the other match right now. Bucky Sivantong is an 8-4 to four lead over Kang Lee. Rack for rack. Okay, Rob is back.
went for the safe there. Did not get there. You ran into the eight. Shot on three looks like he left himself room on the four. Slightly behind the eight, but enough room to make the four in the side. It's just a miss. I think that's where he wanted to be. And perfect on the six. Shot. Oh, he's a little straighter on that line than he wanted to be.
And Rob Kroll takes a 7-6 lead in this race to 11. In the semifinals of the second annual Penball Open, the semifinal action is sponsored by JerseyShoreShotsTap.com Pool League. Visit JerseyShoreShotsTap.com to join a team or start a team today. Going to get you an update on the other semifinal match. And the other semifinal match is currently nine to five in favor of Bucky de Venton. And Rob makes the four on the break. Bucky Sivantong is on the hill in the other semifinal, leading 10 to 5. Macraw plays the 9, or calls the 9, I'm sorry.
Good play to get on the three by Matt. Looks like he's going to slide this over behind the six. Good shot. Plays that middle ball right behind the eight. It's around behind the ten, just needs that to even this score at seven. Macron evens the score at seven in this race to 11. Semifinal. The semifinal is presented to you by Jersey Shore Shots Tap Pool League. Thank you to Jersey Shore Shots Tap for bringing you this semifinal action. Tied at seven in a race to 11. Macron has the break. Five ball goes down on the break. One ball on the side pocket. Looks like Rob Curl can see a piece of that ball. If not enough of it to cut it down in that bottom left corner. Oh, overcuts it just a bit. I believe the race has tightened in the other match. I'll get an update for you in just a moment. Matt Craw plays our call safe on this shot. Mm, 
close, but I don't think he got behind that seven. That other race has tightened. It's ten six. Matt calls the three. It's the nine first. That's a foul. Sorry, hit a button by mistake there. Matt calls safe on this one ball. And this time he gets there. makes good contact and gets us safe out of that shot. I don't know that Matt can see that maybe off the rail. Matt calls the one in the corner.
Rob with a good shot on the one, draws back on the two. I believe Kang Lee has closed the gap to 10-7. Looking to verify that for you. And that is official. It's 10-7 in the other semi. Rob Kroll trying to take an 8-7 lead in this semifinal match. And he does. Rob Kroll leads Matt Craw 8-7 in this race to 11. The semifinals of this second annual 10 ball open are sponsored by Tap Pool League. Visit them at jerseyshoreshotstap.com to join a league. Maybe start your own team. Why not? Get started today. Visit the at JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. Now operating in Cumberland, Salem, and Gloucester counties, in addition to Atlanta County and the newly opened Cape May County. That's JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. That crawl caused the one in the side. Good shot. I th think he may have gotten 
think you may have gotten past the seven, be able to see the two, but I'm not sure. His reaction tells me no. He didn't, but he may just not like the position. Matt calls safe on this two ball. Nope, changes his mind. Calls the two. Bottom left corner pocket. Hmm. Doesn't make the shot, but that's not a bad leave. Just enough room for that ball to go for Rob Crawl. It's right behind the three. Shot on the four. And in the other semifinal, Bucky Savantong has advanced, defeating Kang Lee 11 to 7. That's a really nice play on that eight. A little bit of angle on the nine. Just enough to get off of that rail and come back on the ten. Rob Crow looking to take a nine seven lead over Matt Craw. And Rob Kroll takes a 9-7 lead in this race to 11. It's a 4-2 race now. This semifinal action 
It is presented to you by Jersey Shore Shots Tap Pool League. Visit them at www.jerseyshoreshotstap.com. The great league ran by great people. That's at jerseyshoreshotstap.com. Matt Crawl with the break. Trying to close this gap and stay in this. Matt makes the one on the break. He's got a shot at the two in the side here. Should be able to I think he's just got to get back around in position on the three. Nice play. And to be careful not to overplay that and get behind the nine. I only say that because the players have had a little trouble with the speed over these couple days. Matt plays that with a little bit of high left. Makes the five and gets around on the six. He's going to try and draw this one back and across the table. Mm, doesn't get back or over far enough. Mac all safe on this. I think you can see that seven. That's past the nine. He did not get behind the nine. Rob Crawl needs this to get on the hill. And he gets it. Rob Crawl on the hill in this race to 11 against Matt Craw. Yeah, he only needs one, and he also has the break this rack. Our other semi finalist is set. It's Bucky Suvantong.
This semifinal match is being sponsored by Tap Pool League. Visit them at www.jerseyshoreshotstap.com. Rob Crow with the break, and nothing falls. Didn't want to run into that three ball, so Matt calls safe on this shot. And that's going to leave Rob a shot. Makes the three looks like looks like he's got room underneath the eight. No, no, he's shaking his head. He may have to go rail first. That four is not far past the jaw of the pocket. He calls safe. It's a good hit, but Matt Cross going to have a look at this four ball in the corner. And Matt calls cross corner, upper right hand side of your screen. Hmm. Just over cut. Not a great lead for Matt Craw. Matt calls safe on the shot. Now five and seven are in the way. A 
Mob calls safe as well. That goes in. That was not the intention. And that calls the five in the side. Good shot. Good position on the six. Makes that six and draws back nicely on the seven. I'm gonna draw this and slide down to the bottom. There's two rails, it's gonna have that eight right in the side. Just place natural position on that eight. Macron to close this gap to ten eight. Macraw closes the gap. It's now a 10-8 score in this race to 11. Matt needs three racks, and he'll be breaking. Rob needs one. This semifinal brought to you by Tap Pool League. www.jerseyshoreshotstap.com Visit the site to get started in a pool league today. That's Tap Pool League at Jersey Shore Shots Tap dot com. Thank you to them for sponsoring this semifinal action in the second annual ten ball open here at Players Billiards, Eatontown, New Jersey. Our gracious host location. Nothing falls for Matt. Bucky Suf Bantong 
awaiting the winner of this match. Oh, in and out. These pockets, especially on table one here, not forgiving at all. Call safe. Looking to get underneath that six. Ooh, got underneath the six, but I think it's a little strong. I think it definitely looks like there's a lane there for Rob. Rob went for the safe there, but didn't work out the way he wanted. And the safe back by Matt. Good hit by Rob. And that ball in and out. And Rob calls safe. Makes the two. That's important because Mac can pass. That was an uncalled shot, and I believe that's what he's done. Rob calls safe on this shot. And that's a bad hit. Hit the five first.
Oh, the four ball's been pocketed. That was the illegal pocket. Good play by Matt to pocket the three. Three straight on the six. Getting from the six to the seven is going to be tough. Oh, a lot of running. In on that ball. <laughs> That's outstanding. A little flatter than he wanted to be, though. Wanted to have some angle on this. Calls that a ball bottom left corner of your screen. And that one doesn't go. Calls that a top right corner of your screen. Oh, close, but can't get that to fall. Now with an opportunity to close this to a 10-9. Loses the gap to ten nine. Then one rack. Within one rack of tying Rob Kroll in this semifinal. Presented by Jersey Shore Shots Tap dot com pool league. Visit them at Jersey Shore Shots Tap dot com. Join a team or form your own. Jersey Shore Shots Tap operates in Cumberland, Salem, Gloucester, Atlantic, and Cape May counties.
but two and three fall on the break. A good safe. Alright, Matt calls it bottom right corner of your screen. Nice play, a little follow. Great position on the five. Draws that one back just a little. And draw this one off the rail. Oh, I miscued on that. Got away with it.
I might have played Chad to get on the nine. That's a great shot. Down the rail on the nine. Rob Kroll just needs this 10 to advance to the finals against a Bucky Banton. And Rob Kroll defeats Matt Croft. That sets us up. That sets up our final. Match coming up. With this break in the action, I'd like to thank some of our sponsors. The Jersey Shore APA. The APA is the world's largest amateur pool league. The Jersey Shore APA is home to over 500 members. Have fun, meet people. Play pool. Visit jerseyshore.apaleagues.com or call Dawn Hopkins at 609-226-0646. Barnes Hutchins is a Mark of Excellence Award winner at FC Kerbick Buick GMZ in Palmyra, New Jersey. I was speaking with Barnes the other day, and he said they have over 450 new and used vehicles available for sale. Get in touch with Barnes. Drive home the car of your dreams at Barnes Hutchins at FC Kerbeck Buick GMC in Palmyra, New Jersey. And Players Billiards Cafe, located on 613 Hope Road in Eatontown. Players is a family-owned establishment that's been voted the number one pool hall in Monmouth County by the readers of the Asbury Park Press, featuring 20 world-class Brunswick pool tables, including six limited-edition Brunswick Black Crown tables. Pool Q Kickback Giveaways is the Facebook group to join for a chance to win amazing cues, cases, and other accessories. With prompt shipping and careful packaging, Pool Q Kickback Giveaways is the place to go to get the cue of your dreams, like that Tascarelli you see on screen currently available. Paul's Pro Shop, located inside the lanes at Seagirt, New Jersey, is committed to their customers, selling brand name bowling equipment such as Hammer, Brunswick, Columbia, and more. Visit their store in the lanes at Seagirt or go to paulsproshop.com. In the box, your favorite apparel company for your custom-made sports jerseys. They've been here all weekend designing custom jerseys. If you want one for your team, come out and get one. Visit inthebox.com, use promotional code NJOPEN, and get 20% off. JB Cases. Build your custom case at jbcases.com. You can pick the colors, the number of pockets, the size of the pockets, the type of straps. You can even get custom embroidery. Do it all with their custom case creator at jbcases.com. Hoffman Shave and Soap Company. Hoffman Small Batch Shaving and Bar Soap is made in the USA without any unnecessary additives or chemicals and natural fragrances. For clean skin and a cleaner shave, do it the way Grandpa used to. Visit HoffmanShavingCompany.com for more information or to place an order. John Cuccio is an authorized Kamui installer, installs other Q-tips as well, does feral repair, removes dings. For all your Q-maintenance in the central North Jersey area, give John Cuccio a call, 732-606-6642. Garden State Pool Tour is an independent pool tour that runs throughout New Jersey, and they're going to be expanding into New York, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut in 2023, featuring open, ladies, and amateur events in 8-ball, 9-ball, and 10-ball. Look up Garden State Pool Tour on Facebook for more information. The 2022 NBL 10-ball qualifier is going to be August 28th at Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. For more information on this tournament and others, visit nblusa.com. And Tap Pool League, the sponsor of our semifinals. JerseyShoreShotsTap.com. Visit them to get started in the league today. Thanks to our sponsors. And we are going to get ready for our finals coming up. The finals presented by John Cuccio Q Repair.
Finals will be Bucky to Venton versus Rob Crow. Watching Bucky warm up now. And with that break by Bucky, we are underway. This is the finals presented by John Cuccio Q Repair.
Good shot. Good position on the seven. Just center ball, natural position on the eight. Look at this play. Great play. And right on the 10. That 8 to 9 was just an underrated shot. And Rob Kroll gets on the bird board first, taking a 1 0 lead over Bucky Savanton. This finals action of the Second annual 10 ball open is brought to you by John Cuccio, key repair. John does all kinds of tip installations, is an authorized Kamui installer, repairs ferrules, removes dings. For all your Q-Care needs, get in touch with John, 732-606-6642. Three's got a chance. And Rob plays safe. Nice and out. Standing shot. And Bucky plays safe.
Mm, Bucky going for the two on the side. Just missed. Oh, Rob undercuts that. And Bucky tried to get safe, but made the eight. So that's going to be Rob's choice whether he wants <clears throat> to shoot this. Imagine he's just going to push the four to the rail, come out the other side of the nine and play safe. He went the other way. He got behind the six. Yep, that six is in the way. That's a good jump by Bucky, but legal hit, but doesn't pocket the ball. Makes the four, bumps the seven. Good position on the five. He's exactly where he needs to be on the six. Goes back on that six ball shot.
Just a little low on the cue ball. Roll forward after contact for the nine. And Rob Kroll in position to take a 2-0 lead. Rob Kroll up 2-0 over Bucky de Venton. Thanks to all our viewers who tuned in today to watch this match. This finals action is presented to you by John Cuccio. For all types of cue maintenance, get in touch with John. He's an authorized Kamui installer, also installs other Q-tips, does ferrule repair, removes dings. That's John Cuccio, 732-606-6642. Nothing falls for Bucky on the break. Just undercut. Undercut. Surprising. Rob's been shooting really well.
contact on that ball, and Rob ooh, almost got behind the four. Lucky on the eight. Trying to get position on the nine and finish this rack out. This is to get on the board for Bucky. But Bucky closes the gap to 2 1. Race to 11 tightens up. One rack separates the players. These finals being brought to you by John Cuccio. John's an authorized Kamui installer, also installs other Q tips. Does feral repair, removes dings for all your Q maintenance and repair needs. Get in touch with John at Rob breaks and makes the four. And that's a push, and he's giving it back by Bucky. Good hit.
Good shot by Rob. Just draws back a little bit on the five ball. See him draw this one back enough to get on the six two. Good shot to get on the nine. This for a 3-1 lead for Rob Kroll. Really nice shot. Rob Kroll leads 3-1 in this race to 11 over Bucky Savantong. You're watching the finals of the Second annual 10 ball open presented by John Cuccio. John installs all types of Q-tips. He's an authorized Kamui installer. Does feral and ding repair. Get in touch with John for all your Q repair and maintenance needs. It's John Cuccio, 732-606-6642. Bucky with a break. Five ball. Goes for the safe on the one. And a good hit. Not sure if Bucky can... Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see enough of that. I'm sorry, I was looking at the nine ball. That's a good shot. Right back up table on the two. This rail first. Woo. It's that kick off the eight, knocks that out of the way. Makes the three, gets on the four.
Get some high rate on that and get some running English. Ah, it runs into the nine. That's nice. I think he's still got enough angle to get back on the eight. Draws back. He's got the eight. Slides into the rail, comes across table for the nine. And Bucky in a position to close this gap to 3-2. Just needs this 10 ball. And Bucky narrows the score to 3-2 in this race to 11. It's Rob Kroll's break. He has the lead. I expect this one to go down to the wire. We can we could see 21 racks potentially. I got a feeling we'll get to at least 19. I don't think anybody's going to run away with this one. This final is presented to you by John Cuccio Q Repair. John installs Kamui tips. He's an authorized installer and does other tips, repairs furls, removes dings. Get in touch with John for all your Q care and repair needs. It's John Cuccio, 732-606-6642. We'll get one more chance before the end of this stream to thank all of our advertisers and supporters. And also, we will put a post up in various groups with all of their information. So if you want to use any of their services, you can get in touch with them later. Of course, you can always go back and watch the stream again. But we'll put it in a convenient place. Nine falls on the break. Rob just misses that bank. And you are watching the finals of the second annual 10 ball open. Here from Players Billiards in Eatontown. Great facility, great people own this place and run this place. Tournament is uh, put on by Jersey Devil Promotions. Also a couple of great guys. Streaming is by New Jersey Billiard Streams. It's, uh, that's another great guy. Just kidding, that's me. Bob overcuts that two ball. Might get away with that one.
Went for the bank, just missed. It sounded like a miscue. That's a tough leave. That's a good cut by Bucky, and he's going to be a backup table for the four ball. He just drifted far enough to have an angle on that five. Getting on the six could be a little tough from here, but we've seen Bucky do harder shots. Oh, he goes for the safe. Well, Rob can see it, but it's tied up with the seven. does all he can to make a good hit. And that goes in the pocket it was intended for, so Bucky will continue to shoot. Remember, in the rules, it has to go in the called pocket, but does not matter how it gets there. I believe Bucky called safe on that, and that didn't work out. shot it looks like it's right on the rail but there's a little bit of space there probably enough to cut this into the side and 
And Rob Crow looking to take a 4-2 lead with this 10 ball. And he does. Rob Crow leads 4-2 in this race to 11. This final round of the second annual 10 ball open is brought to you by John Cuccio. John installs new tips and does all kinds of repairs to ferrules, removes dings. If you're in need of Q maintenance, you're in the north central Jersey area, give John a call, Bucky makes the three on the break. And one just rattles in and out. Good play by Rob. Makes the one. It's back on the two. I think you would have liked the other angle here, though. Easier to get on the four. That's a really nice shot. Excellent shot. <clears throat> Plays that softly, a little higher center. Play the eight in that side. A little bit of draw and slide down to the bottom of your screen. Not all the way, obviously. Have that nine in the corner. And that was the plan. Just off the jaw of the pocket. That's a tough break. Bucky makes that eight and gets right on the nine. Gets that in the side. Right back on the ten. So Bucky with a chance to close this gap again to four three. Mm. 
And he does. Lucky Savantong. That's this gap in the score to 4-3 in this race to 11. You're watching the finals of the t second annual 10-ball open from Players Billiards. Finals are presented by John Cuccio. Q repair. John does Kamui installs, also installs other Q-tips. Feral repair, dings removed. General Q maintenance. Get in touch with John. 732-606-6642. I'm going to take a short break away from the mic. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, well, so while I was uh, taking a short restroom break, we ran out after Rob's break and tied this up at four. Normally, I can step away from the mic and miss two shots.
Rob makes that three in this side. He was trying to get underneath that 10 safe, but didn't make it. Nice cut for position on the five. Great shot to slide under the six. That might end up being a fortunate miss. It's a good hit. Tried that really thin cut. Just didn't get enough. Good position on the seven. Stops that shot to have a Good look at the nine here. He's going to draw this one back. Didn't do much more with that. He was pretty flat on that nine. But this is for the 5 4 lead for. Rob Kroll, and he gets it. Rob Kroll takes a 5-4 lead in this race to 11. You're watching the finals of the second annual 10-ball open presented to you. The finals are presented to you by John Cuccio from Q-Tip Repair and Maintenance. John does ferrule repair, removes dings, and installs Q-Tips. An authorized Kamui installer. 
Brown is the one to see for all your Q repair needs in the north and central Jersey area. Give them a call, 732 <laughs> Ron Briggs drive. We've seen a lot of dry breaks here this weekend. Maybe as many as 50%. Maybe more, honestly. And Buck plays a push. Bucky, I'm sorry. Plays a push. Rob tries to go safe, but that comes out the other side where Bucky can see it. Just to recap our day, I'm going to give you the standings. Oh, that's unfortunate. So the standings as of right now, Mike Soleil finished 8th, Mark Alicia 7th, Russian Kenny 6th, Elvis Rodriguez 5th, Matt Croft 4th, and Kang Lee 3rd. This match, of course, for first and second. Rob plays a good safe there. <clears throat> Also oh, one cross side bottom of your screen. That doesn't go. Good contact. Legal hit. Doesn't look like that one goes by the 10. I can't say with absolute certainty. And I was 100% wrong.
I went for the save, but doesn't uh, doesn't get the result he wants. Wasn't much there that could have gone wrong more than already did. So ball in hand for Rob Crawl, leading 5-4. Could leave on the six. Got a little bit of angle. <clears throat> Look, he's going to draw off that bottom rail on your screen and come back up for the eight. Oh, drew straight back. It was straighter than I thought. I thought he had more angle on that. In that position on the nine. That's a good shot. He's going to have that 10 in the side pocket looking to go up 6-4. And Rob Kroll takes a 6-4 lead in this race to 11. <clears throat> the finals of this second annual 10-ball Open are presented to you by John Cuccio, authorized community installer who also installs other tips, does feral and ding repair. Get in touch with John at 732-606-6642. Narrowly avoids the scratch on that break, but nothing falls. So Rob Crow leading 6 4. Comes to the table shooting at the one ball.
All right, so Bucky on the one. It's a good leave, though. That is not what Rob was trying to do. <clears throat> That's a good save. Rob calls the eight ball. Oh, wow. Bucky makes the bank on the one. And that plays safe on the two. Great shot, and he gets back around on the three. Mm, I think he'd rather not be shooting over the seven. And that's a good play to get on the four. Nice shot, just around the five. I think we'll see him draw this back. Nope, nope, follows it. Ah, uh, didn't realize he was shooting the eight. Didn't see that still sitting in the pocket. That's good. Ooh. Wow, this table has not rolled like that all day.
Fuck you trying to close to within one rack. And he does, Bucky. Closes this to a 6-5 score. This finals match of the second annual 10-ball open is brought to you by John Cuccio. John's an authorized Kamui installer, installs all Q-tips, does feral repair, and removes dings. If you're in the North Central Jersey area, give John a call, Four falls on the break. It's a nice shot on the one. Hmm. Good leave. And Bucky gets that behind the 10. Good hit, nearly makes the shot. This is not going to be a terrible leave. Would have been better for him if it stopped closer to the rail. And Bucky gets safe behind the six. Rob calls the two in the bottom left corner of your screen. Doesn't get that, but does get a good hit out of it. And might, 
It might even be safe. And a good hit for Bucky. He overcuts that one. I'm not sure. He might have been intentionally going for the safe there. And Rob plays safe. Bucky calls this ball top left corner of your screen. And it's a good hit, but doesn't go. That's another safe. I believe Bucky's called this bottom left of your screen. And that is an illegal pocket. That'll stay down. Ball in hand for Rob.
And Rob shoots the two into the bottom left corner. Looks like he's got to look at the six. Not sure, though. Here's Bucky on the six. And Bucky looking to tie this one up at six. And we're tied at six in this race to 11. These 20, uh, second, I want to say 2022, these second annual 10 ball open finals are presented by John Cuccio. He repairs and maintenance. Give John a call at And Bucky sends the cue ball off the table. He's done that a few times today. He made the two and the eight on the break.
Ooh. Almost makes that jump into the corner. And Rob calls the seven ball. shot he's going to shoot that six in the side pocket top of your screen And it's a nice play off the rail to get good position on the nine. Perfect on the ten. Rob Kroll takes a seven six lead. As we get closer and closer to crowning a champion here. Only about, uh, at, at most, eight racks away at this point. And these finals concluding. These finals are presented by John Cuccio, Cube Repair and Maintenance. John's an authorized Kamui installer. He installs other tips as well. Repairs furls. Removes dings. Get in touch with John for all your Q maintenance needs. That's John Cuccio, 732-606-6642. Four ball goes on the break. Tough leave off the break. And Bucky might have a safe there. That's a good hit and a great safe. Look at that. In behind the six. Good hit by Bucky. It's a nice shot on the one. And 
Rob plays the safe. Hmm. And ball just rolls out the other side of the tent where Rob can see it. Went for the safe on that when it came out too far. Hmm. That's a nice shot on the two. Robin, a nice run here. Starting to round back into form after a couple of innings where he didn't didn't look himself. Nice play. Looking to take an 8-6 lead here. And Rob Kroll takes an 8-6 lead in this race to 11. We get closer and closer to having our champion in this finals presented by John Cuccio. You repair. Get in touch with John if you're in the north or central Jersey area. 732-606-6642. That's John Cuccio.
Let's roll this down. And it appears we're going to take a short break. It's a tough miss, uncharacteristic miss for Rob Kroll. He was on his way to moving through that rack. Bucky closes it to a 7 8 score. So 
Uh, we've got uh, 30 minutes left in the Facebook stream. <clears throat> if it looks like it's going to be close, we'll cut this one and start a new one. All right, and Bucky's coming back. So Rob will break. Four ball falls on the break. It's a nice shot. <clears throat> Great. Oh, that's a good shot. And then ran into the seven. I think it's most likely out. He gets past that seven ball. Good hit, but doesn't go. And Bucky went for the safe on that and didn't get it.
That's a really nice cut. Good play by Bucky to get on the eight. This shot's to tie it up at eight apiece. Oh, and that's a tough miss for Bucky. It puts Rob in position to take a 9-7 lead. Rob Quill takes a 9-7 lead in this race to 11. This final round is brought to you by John Cuccio, Q Maintenance and Repair. John repairs ferrules, removes dings, installs Q-tips. He's also an authorized Kamui dealer. If you're in the north or, s or central Jersey area, give John a call, 732-606-6642. A lot happened there. Down. Or two, seven, and eight. Bucky goes for a safe here. He gets it. Rob calls a three in the side pocket, bottom of your screen. Hell of a try. It doesn't get there, and Bucky's going to have a look at it. And Bucky misses that one. Rob now with a chance. Six balls away from getting on the hill. And in and out. 
Got position on the four, but just rattled that three in the pocket. Bucky plays safe, but I think Rob can see that ball. That's a good shot. Not sure if he got to the safe or not. I don't think he did. Bucky off the jaw of the pocket. Fortunate leave, though. Get safe behind the four. Bucky makes that ball illegally, so it'll be a Rob Kroll shot at the four. Just gets past the six. Have a shot at the five in that corner pocket. Great shot to get position on the six. I think we'll see him just stop this one. Makes the nine draws back perfectly for the ten. This is to get on the hill. And Rob Kroll gets to the hill. He's to 11. Also his break. We're going to be pressed for time on the end of this, so I am going to run through and thank our advertisers one final time. John Cuccio, tip repair or key repair and maintenance, New Jersey Garden State Pool Tour, NBL, visit them at nblusa.com, Tap Pool League at jerseyshoreshotstap.com, APA, I'm sorry, Jersey Shore. APA, jerseyshore.apaleagues.com. 
Barnes Hutchins of FC Kerbeck, Buick, GMC, in Palmyra, New Jersey. Players Billiards Cafe in Eatontown, New Jersey. Pool Q Kickback Giveaways Facebook group. And Paul's Pro Shop at Seagirt. And In The Box. Visit them at inthebox.com. JB Cases. And Hoffman's Shave and Soap Company. All of our advertisers will appear in a post in the various pool groups. And of course, you can always rewatch the stream. If, in the event that this rack doesn't end it, we may take a very short break to close this stream down and start a new one. And Bucky looking to get his eighth win right here. And he does. I think we've got time to go one more. And Bucky closes the gap. Right, so we're going to get this rack in. If it doesn't end with this rack, we're going to have to shut down and start a new stream. We are up against Facebook's eight-hour time limit. Oh, nothing falls. And Rob calls a push. That's a hell of a shot. Oh, I forgot to reset the balls. I'm sorry. Bucky's going to play the three. Makes the three. The ten will get spotted.
That's a tough miss. He gets a lucky roll, though. Oh, went to get behind the six, didn't get there, so Bucky with a look at the four. Calls it in the side. Oh. Just barely did not go. Rob on the hill, shooting at the four. for the safe and Bucky can see that four plays the safe back Good hit. Ah, gets those balls real close to each other. He makes that shot. He's going to get right on the five here. And this would close the gap to nine, hit ten. A 
All right, and we're at 9.10. We are going to shut down and restart the stream. We have three minutes left. So wherever you're watching, join us back here in uh, just about two minutes.